matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship the world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a jiu-jitsu fighter making his professional debut here tonight he stands six feet six inches tall weighing in at 239 pounds presenting the challenger invincible and now introducing the champion fighting out of the red corner this man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Side, maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter, taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, nice jab. 
Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Choi. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. And just misses with that big right hand. Looking to counter with his left hand, but he misses. Now connects with a right. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, single collar time now. And both guys really throwing with a force. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Lands the right hands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Good punch, Lance. Oh, a huge block there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Choi. Able to check the high kick. And there comes the separation now. Misses with that punch. with that jab attempt is. Ooh, what a punch. Head kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He's back in the first. Watch for the knees to start to come down. Nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Back and forth we go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Leg kick checked effectively there by Choi. Head kick. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. You got to check these low leg kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, so the tall fighter lands on the knee. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. First round winding down here. Nice move punch. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. 
All right, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved that head off the side. I mean, line. it was defensive brilliant. Yeah. I mean, just the ability to move. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. There's no tell on that leg kick. Straight right hand, no good. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Try to establish that jab. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Bleeding from his cheek now. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He loaded up there on that high kick. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, strong punch there by Short. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Got the single collar tie. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice straight punch. <laughs> Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Well, missed on that one. going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight. Oh, 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 look at this out of nowhere. It's flashy but effective. Even Ari roll into a potential heel hook here. This could get interesting. Staying busy. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop the You gotta defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Choi's face would have to be classified as a mess. Cut on his cheek, and it's only getting worse. A little single collar tie there. Choi gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the seat. And he landed the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice hook lands. And what a round! 
right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get him back together before the start of the next round. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. This round, I want you to put the pressure up. All right, nice job there by the corner after that previous round as our next round gets underway, and their fighter is undeterred. He's close on the submission in the previous round. He's going to get right back to it. He's like a dog on a bone. He's going to continue to attack, 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 until he eventually gets the Nice strike. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice kick. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch lands over the top. Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He comes in close, controls the opponent's posture, and lands these nasty elbows. Big leg kick lands. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Got clip with the right hand. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh, big shot lands. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Clinch position. Beautiful elbow over the top. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. That punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh! Massive head kiss! Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything comes. Oh, my gosh. Perfect execution on the Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook now. Let's see if he can submit his opponent. Absolutely incredible. Oh, nice. Dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponents. Oh, wow, that happened 
quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over this season. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. That was a thudding leg kick. Visibly limping here. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Super Bowl. Defense. Powerful leg kick lands. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, he got a two. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. The Korean Superboy does it again! He's done, he's done! absorb a kick to the body with that much snap on it. There's just no recovery from it. Referee all over it. It was just a perfectly executed kick to the body. And that right there is the strike that did it. All right, we take a look back at the replay, and not every day you see a fight end due to a body kick like that. That was a massive body kick. Snuck it right under the elbow. Once it landed, you knew the fight was about to be finished. So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC heavyweight champion. And I'm not sure any heavyweight could have held up under that onslaught, a flurry of strikes to set up the TKO and championship victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 49 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He successfully retains the title here tonight and does so by TKO. Nice embrace there with the head coach. This is a celebration that is gonna continue all night 